God originally made the world, Adam did not have a Bible. It hadn't been written yet. So God gave Adam the gospel story in the stars. The 12 different constellations told the story of the redemption, the coming of Christ, and maybe they, the, the Sphinx was built, this is a, one theory, the Sphinx by the pyramid, you know, in Egypt, they say, well, the Sphinx was built to tell us how to read the zodiac, because it starts with the face of a woman and ends with the body of a lion. So you start reading the zodiac. Instead of starting in January like we do, you start with Virgo the Virgin, and you go through the 12 constellations and end with Leo the Lion. I don't know. I know that today the horoscope's all perverted and Satan always takes what God does and twists it and perverts it and chains it, but if you want to study that, that's fine. There appears to be something to that, though, that maybe there really is something to this gospel in the stars. And Carl Baugh's got a good theory that each of the constellations is producing different radio waves. <clears throat> stars produce radio waves. He thinks the canopy of ice that used to be above the Earth could actually change those radio frequencies into audible waves, like a crystal radio does. It would actually vibrate. And Adam and Eve would be able to hear the music of the stars mentioned in Job chapter 38. That the whole gospel story was being sung to them continually as they traveled around every year.